Okay, why I call it online course. I like this collet because it can be made, as I show in the video, just out of one single length of wire. So the same diameter wire, same gauge, and uh, you can make the whole thing, claws and the bezel, everything. And also the design, or the way I make it, is very versatile. Like my design has parallel claws, but there's no reason why you couldn't make your stone sit on a smaller bezel so the claws have to stick out at more of an angle. That also looks nice. And you can play with the depths as well between the bottom bezel and the top bezel. Yeah, it's versatile and you can put your own design flair into it with the angles, the thickness. Uh, you don't have to use the same bit of wire. You could have your bezels a slightly thicker bit of metal and then the claws slightly thinner gauge. It might look quite nice or vice versa. Anyway, it's, um, it has potential to, to, ha to put your own artistic license too so I think beginners intermediate will uh, will have fun with this one it's relatively easy relatively simple to make and um, yeah very versatile so yeah have a go my wire I pulled it straight it's 1.2 so that's a really heavy gauge but this stone is big um, if you're kind of new to making jewelry you might not know about the importance of a good tight join I know this is just basically a jump ring and if you've done these in the past soldering charms on or whatever you can get away with being a bit sloppy with your join but this is a proper mount now for a stone so everything's got to be tight and nice it means you can solder with less solder it's gonna solder easier and much neater and the join will be much stronger as well so it's only on a four claw this is gonna work but if you've got a square collet punch they have nice sharp lines down here so if you put that in there nice and straight, give it a tap, you'll mark exactly where your claws can go. Use your medium solder for this. Double check your joins before you cut cut any wires apart. I think this is a cut four blade is really not thin enough. Should have gone for a six. Boom. So put it in there, make sure it's all sitting nicely, make adjustments if you need to. Um, it should be sitting perfectly before you go to this stage, make sure everything's done correctly. And the only thing to do is make sure it's flat, nice and parallel with the, with the other one. Um, then in more detail, I'll get my loop and look at every single join, make sure it's all flooded properly and you haven't put too much on or not enough on. Make sure there's not solder flooding all over the metal everywhere. You've done that neatly. And uh, yeah, just basically having a, having a looky-looky over the whole thing.